Hi go-getters, queens, and everyone in between. It's your girl Grace, and welcome to my channel, Gracefully Vlog. Can you believe it's been two years and three months since I first got starter locks, and I have never gotten a lock detox done. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today. But before I do, if you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you are, go ahead and press that like button for me right quick. Let's get started. Let's go over the products that I'll be using today. So first I'm going to be using Bragg's Apple Cider Vinegar. It has the mother in it, you see this brown stuff at the bottom. It's really, really good for you. I'm also using Arm & Hammer Pure Baking Soda, as well as I am using a lemon. I'm gonna squeeze the juice out of it. You can just use a bottle of lemon juice, but I'd rather just squeeze the juice right on out. Also, you can, if you would like, you can add essential oils. I am going to use tea tree oil and lavender oil. You don't have to, but I think it will be nice. As well as I ordered this inflatable basin, it's portable and everything from Amazon. So I'm gonna put all of those things in the description and we're gonna go and get started with this detox. After I do the detox, I will be washing my hair. So. Stay tuned for all of that. I already filled my basin with water. Now I'm squeezing the lemon. So I can have my lemon juice in there. Now I'm gonna add one cup of baking soda. It has a little bit of clumps in it, but hopefully the hot water will remove some of these clumps. <laughs> now I'm adding one cup of the Bragg's apple cider vinegar. Uh-oh, look at this. Sizzle, baby, sizzle. Okay, okay. So that's exactly what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to sizzle like that. Last but not least, I'm gonna add a few drops of tea tree oil as well as lavender oil. And I'm gonna get in there. All right, beautiful people. So now I am going to stick my hair in here. Whew. If you look back here, I put a towel just in case my hair got wet. And once I get all of my hair in here, ah, oh, this thing's kind of comfortable, guys. I like this basin. Um, oh yeah, well I already see stuff coming out. It has a little headrest and everything. And I'm laying on a yoga mat as well, so I can be comfortable. And what I'm gonna do is, if you saw that cup that I put the ingredients in. I'm gonna use that cup so I can put it at the top of my scalp. If I can reach back and get it. My husband's helping me right now because I was having a little troubles getting the front of my hair. So we're taking that scoop and he's put, putting it in there now. And you can still hear a little bit of the fizz from the water solution. Watch my ear. <laughs> Husbands are wonderful. <laughs> so basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be under here for about 25 minutes. I've already been under here for about, what'd you say, five, 10 minutes so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer and then I will show you guys what the basin looks like. I know I've seen some where the water is like so black. We'll see what mine looks like. See you guys soon. All right, y'all, I said I was gonna be gone, but I've now learned how to do it myself. Uh, I was thankful for the hubs. Oh yeah, I think, there we go. See the water getting a little more brown. Cause it's basically removing everything, every product, every oil, every gel that I have put in my hair since I've gotten my hair done. And of course, you know, I shampoo my hair and do all of that. So we will see what it looks like. Are you excited? Cause I'm excited to see what it looks like. Y'all, this water is murky and brown. Oh, it's really brown. But it's not black, so I'm happy to report that. 
Well, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair now. I'm going to let you know what products I'm going to use. All right. So as you see, I finished detoxing my hair. And I see this product that's like coming out. You see that? Ugh. Yuck, 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 yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and wash all of this stuff out. Look at this gunk. Oh, my gosh. And I am going to use Pacifica Coconut Power Strong and Long Moisturizing Shampoo. I have never tried this before. But it is vegan-free, cruelty-free. And I am going to use the conditioner as well. So we're going to get all of this stuff out. Wow. I didn't even know that all of this was even in my hair like that. Look at this, guys. Gross, 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 gross. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get all of this out and wash my hair really good. And I will see you guys once my hair is washed and conditioned. Go-getters and queens, I'm taking my hair down now. I finished washing it. So what I'm going to do is add rose water. And I will put the type of rose water that I use in the description as always. It's the same kind. And also, I'm going to use this new oil. It's called Smooth and Shine Black Seed Oil. And it's from Schwarzkopf. <laughs> it has no sulfates in it. Uh, yeah, so it has black seed oil and coconut oil. And it says it conditions hair and helps prevent breakage, static, and flyaways. So I'm gonna put a little bit more rose water in my hair. I feel like my hair does feel a bit lighter. I wish I had more time. I probably would have stayed in there a little longer, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some oil in my hair now. I'm actually going to run some errands today. I'm putting the oil on my scalp, guys, because as you know, the oil seals in the moisture. But I'm going to take a walk, and I live in Houston, so it's hot. So I'm going to let my hair air dry some. And now I'm going to take some oil and just put it throughout my hair. And I'm not going to do a retwist today, but I actually have a gig and like that I have to leave in two hours for. So I'm trying to knock this out. But yeah. So here we go. What do I think? I think I would have preferred to probably have someone else to do my detox for me. Just because there are things in my hair like I was telling you about. I got most of it out. But I still have some of the old residue still in my hair, unfortunately. But as you see, I definitely got a lot of it out. Now, when I shampooed my hair, when I tell you it was so much brown that drained down into the tub, it was a lot. So I definitely know that I did get a nice deep clean, but I feel like, like I said, I may, uh, should have been in there a little longer or it would have been nice to have someone to actually go like one by one to get everything out. See, and I still have a little bit of this left, unfortunately. So what I might try to do, I don't have time now. I may just go ahead and wash my hair again um, tomorrow. Um, not detox, but just wash to try to get everything out if I can. I don't want to overwash, but I mean... I want to get it out you know what I'm saying so we shall see but I'm gonna go for my walk and then once my hair is dry I'm gonna get back on the camera so you can see what my hair looks like and by the way y'all have not seen me in so long um <laughs> to do a lint check you guys are probably like oh my goodness your hair is so long now it is really really long now it is all the way down my back guys see this <laughs> see this yeah so I'm excited about that, but I have missed you all. Um, when I get back, I will talk to you guys too, so I can kind of let you know some of my thoughts along this journey now that I am two years and three months in. I am at my gig now, so as you see, my hair is dry. I'm so glad that I did the detox. I will do another video. I know I said I will talk about how I feel about my locks, but it's been so busy. So I'm going to do another video letting you know how I feel now that I am two years and three months 
Locked. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, remember, there is no such thing as a box. Let's go get it.